Hello, thank you for choosing Apollo Display Technologies. In this video, I will provide a brief overview of our Prisma Compact Media LCD controller and a quick tutorial on how to correctly connect up your complete kit. Our Prisma Compact Media is a very compact and efficient multimedia card developed for applications with limited space. It has an HDMI, DVI, and a display port right on board. It takes a standard 12 volt DC power and can be controlled remotely via serial RS-232. We also have configuration software called Chandler Rover available to allow the end user to customize many parameters, providing truly a unique product. It is important to note when making all connections, ensure the connectors are straight and in the correct orientation for proper insertion. When disconnecting, it is important not to pull on the cable. It's best to use a small flathead or tweezers to pry the connector from the housing. Pulling from the wire can damage crimps or break the wires. Now let's connect the Prisma Compact Media. Start by finding the LVDS cable and the LVDS input on the rear of the LCD. Identify the end which connects to the LCD. Check the tabs on the connector versus the LVDS input housing. Ensure it's properly aligned and make the connection. Take the opposite end. Ensure the crimp tabs are facing upwards as shown and make the connection to CON10, the LVDS output on the Prisma controller. Now find the LED converter cable. Identify the end which connects to the LCD. Check the tabs on the connector versus the housing. Ensure it's properly aligned and make the connection. Take the opposite end. Ensure the crimp tabs are facing down as shown and make the connection to CON13 of the Smart LED 4, the backlight output on the Smart LED controller. Identify the connection that connects to the Prisma, CON13, and make the connection. Plug the opposite end of the cable to CON1 of the Smart LED 4 controller. Next, you will connect the serial or USB to serial communications cable, KA-30-362, to CON8 of the Prisma, the UART. Take the other end of the cable and connect to CON8 of the IF396 board. Now take KA-30-365, the VGA cable, and plug in the side that says to Prisma, CON1 of the Prisma. Plug the other side of the cable to CON11 of the IF396 board. Now take KA-30-363, the DVI cable, and plug in one end to the Prisma, CON2 of the Prisma. Plug the other side of the cable to CON22 of the IF396 board. Now take KA-30-364, the DisplayPort cable, and plug in the side that says to Prisma, CON3 of the Prisma. Plug the other side of the cable to CON33 of the IF396 board. You now can connect the power supply, KA-30-361, and plug in one side into the Prisma, CON6 of the Prisma. Plug the other side of the cable to CON66 of the IF396 board. Finally, you can plug in your video interfaces. That wraps up the Prisma Compact Media. Thank you for your time, and we hope to hear from you soon.